Lastly, we have the turbine or blower style ventilator, which is the newest generation of vent that's available. Uh, this is on machines like the Draeger Perseus and Zeus. It is the same style of ventilator that's on ICU vents now. So the same tech as ICU vents. And the good thing about these is that they're capable of delivering a very high flow rate. So if someone has um, a very fast inspiratory flow rate, this will be able to keep up with that. This turbine spins like a super powered hair dryer and generates very high flows. So let's draw this on our circle system. It's going to be just behind the fresh gas flow input. That's our turbine vent. Again, this is physically remote from your reservoir bag, and there's going to be a digital switch to go from vent mode to manual spontaneous. So when you want to turn the vent on, you would just use the digital interface of the machine and uh, turn the vent on. That will disengage your APL valve. Interestingly, though, on these machines, the bag remains part of the circuit even when the ventilator is on. So this turbine spins to generate high flows. It actually draws gas through this bag, uh, which acts as a reservoir. This is a relatively low volume circuit, so it needs this bag um, to act as a gas reservoir. So as it delivers a breath to the patient, you'll see your bag collapsing, and then we'll re-expand. This behavior can be strange to see if you're coming from the bellow assembly where you know that you've flipped this physical switch and it has completely disengaged your APL and your bag from the circuit. But here your bag remains in the circuit on vent mode. So you may feel like you are able to squeeze this bag to deliver the patient a breath while the vent is active since the bag is expanding and collapsing. That seems to make sense. But if you actually squeeze this bag while it's on the vent mode, instead of um, giving the breath to the patient, some of that air will go in that direction. But for the most part, you're just going to waste this gas from your circuit. And that will collapse this reservoir bag. And next time the vent tries to draw air from here, it will collapse even further. And maybe there will be no air left in here to deliver to the patient. So your delivered volume to the patient is going to be very small. And you need to refill this circuit with air because you've just wasted all of that. So basically just let the vent do its thing. And if you want to uh, manually bag the patient, just remember to set the machine back to manual spontaneous mode. Anyways, I think if you can remember a few of these things, uh, you're off to a good start for feeling a little bit more comfortable using these different machines.